This is an upper suspension arm from a classic Mini. This model is a 1969 Mini Cooper S and it's hydroelastic, but I think uh, even the rubber cone models are very similar in respect to this. And I'm going to re refurbish this. One of the tricky things with these is removing these roller bearings. There's one on either side. Normally this shaft goes through there, so that's easy to extract. But being able to get these two roller bearings out um, to replace them is a really tricky job. You need the right tool, the special tool to do that. But even then I've heard it can be tricky. So let's see how it goes. This is a special tool kit that I was referring to. And the way they work is that there's a, a kind of split collet there that goes into the bearing and a plunger with a pointy end, make sure that's greased. Put that into the bearing, wire that in, and these ends should open up and grip the bearing from the inside. And ideally, this little flange at the bottom here should grip the far end and you can then use this slide hammer to pull the thing out or bang it out, really. It's a hammer. Well, we shall see if it works. Unfortunately, this kit has come with a size that's too small for the hole. That's a 17 millimeter. This hole's actually about 19. Um, and the next size up is 20. Well, obviously that's not gonna fit either. So, a bit of a problem. So, what I'm gonna do is use one of these things to clamp this up tighter just to get it in. Um, I think that would probably do the job. Hopefully that'll clamp those collets up enough to allow it to fit. Yes, success. So that means I can now remove that clip. This is good. I can feel the little turned up ends of this piece engaging with the end of the bearing, hopefully. So pull it out like that. Now I can screw the plunger in and expand those collets to grip the inside of the bearing. Good idea to grease the end of that. So hopefully tightening this right up. Good and tight will thoroughly grip that bearing. Right, let's give this a try. Well, I've tried with this arrangement with a slide hammer for some time now, and I've even tried heating around here to try and expand the cast iron a little bit, but uh, that bearing is not going to budge with this arrangement, so I'm gonna to have to get serious. I'm going to use the original shaft that came out of this arm. Uh, it doesn't matter if I wreck it really, because I've got a, a brand new complete kit of parts. I'm going to try and bang it out from the inside One bearing removed. I have managed to get the bearing out of this end. This is the bearing that came out of there using this method with a hammer. But uh, this bearing, this end will not shift whatever I try and do. So I'm going to have to get a little more technical, um, put some more thought into it. I have seen uh, some YouTube videos where, where guys have welded a bolt upside down onto the bearing face and then extracted it uh, with, with, with nuts and so on. Um, very, very good, but it's great providing you have a, a welder at hand and are able to use it. Um, I don't, unfortunately, so I'm going to uh, have to think of something else. I managed to get two of the bearings out using this banging technique, one from each arm, but the other two, one in each of these, just simply won't move. 
So I ordered a half inch bolt, which has just arrived. The plan is to try and use this to extract the bearings that won't budge. I'm going to have to remove some of the points off of the ends here so that hopefully it will fit down the inside of there like that like that and I'll be able to extract the bearing using a spanner well we'll see it needs to be slightly bigger than 20 millimeters diameter any smaller and it will just drop right through just right just goes down the middle there and just hits against the end of that bearing let's try it that way around okay we could be on to a winner with this but let's find out the bolts are half inch UNF thread which is the same size as the original shaft that means I can use the otherwise scrap thrust washers and some of the nuts from the original setup Great, so far so good. I've used a 1 and 5 16 AF socket. That's the one that fits the wheel bearing nuts, plus the old thrust washers and a nut here, making sure that they're all nicely greased up first. Because the bolt isn't fully threaded, I'll need to do this in two stages. First, with the two thicker washers. Once the bearing starts to extract, oh, I felt something go then, looking good. The other two washers can be added. It would have been a lot easier if I'd had a fully threaded bolt to start with. Unfortunately that bolt is now rotating so I'm going to have to lock it using a couple of extra nuts. So that's the needle roller bearings removed from both ends of here. Nice empty space to insert the new ones and I'll use one of these old bearings to tap the new bearings into place.